She has new stuff coming out. Oh yeah. I saw her live. She's all right. Matthew McConaughey is now a professor at UT Austin. Mm. Oh, cool. Wait, why? He's handsome. He's actually been a die. professor for, <laughs> for a minute. Oh, he's been a professor? Yeah, yeah he has. Of but what? now he's officially a professor. No, he's always been a guest. Of hotness. Professor. Oh. Like a, a co-instructor. Anthony Hopkins, I think, was doing that at oh, UC, well. uh, UC, I don't remember. I'm tired of using my sexuality to get ahead, too. Yeah, like, you, I'm should, always... you should stop doing that. No, but like, there's probably yeah. people yeah. like that. This is you getting ahead yeah. right now, this? I feel like, I, I feel like I, I'm always selling out by, you know, like, yeah, strip that off. Being like, object, yeah, I just want to like be known for my like brains, like and like, I'm just so tired of it, you know. But then I'm off. so stuck because I don't know what else to do. You're just emanating sex all the time. Yeah, it's hard for people. It's hard. Must be rough. I just want people to know that like I'm really not that much of a hoe, you know. Like yeah. I have a brain and I can talk and think, but like, yeah. poor Joe. I just see you as a hoe. I know. And, yeah. But it's my fault though, because I put that out there, you know, and then like yeah. I thrive, like the attention just makes me feel awesome. But that's what like that's what got your start. It is. And how do I leave that? Like how do I? You're addicted. He's stand. saying this, but like there's actual For people sure. that actually. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I literally have the same dialogue. Yeah, for real. Like, how do, how do you stop that, though? How do you change the game? Like, I want to be known for, like, my thoughts. Well, people just don't know who you are. But you're known for being a thought. Uh, oh. Oh. Geo? Oh. Too many times. Get out of here. <laughs> Get out of here. I love it. Influence. I love it. That's funny. <laughs> But yeah, I don't know, that'd be cool having a celebrity be my professor. Fuck yeah! Hella intimidating too, cause I'm like, oh. It kind of reminds me of, um... I try to fuck him for good grades. Damn! You just said you didn't want to be known for your body! That's a win-win situation, you fuck Matthew McConaughey and you get the good grade? Unless you fuck bad. Oh, yeah. And he give you a C? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Unless he fucks bad. I was gonna say, like, it reminds me of when I first started with you guys, and then I started getting, like, some sort of a following, but then like people that I would look up to or get intimidated by and then they would follow me, I would think about them and get really self-conscious when I'm gonna post something. Cause I'm oh, like, they're gonna see every it. Every time you write, like you do an assignment, you're like, he's gonna see this shit. That, I can see that being yeah. intimidating. Yeah. Cause it's no longer just your professor. Yeah, mm -hmm. It's like, Imagine it's someone you really look up to as well. Yeah. His office and he's like, the fuck? <laughs> the fuck? Who wrote this? Tiff Del Rio? Fucking F. <laughs> and oh my god. god. Every homework assignment I turn in, I spray a little bit of perfume on it. Ooh. Oh my god, like Lily Blonde. This is from Tiff Del Rio. Like Lily Blonde. And pink paper. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I liked when girls did that. When when they would write letters and they spray things and I would smell that and I'm like. <laughs> Fuck, were you in jail? <laughs> no, you never wrote love letters. That didn't spray shit. Yeah. That's because you didn't, you didn't have game. You didn't I didn't have need no game, game, baby. This is all the game I needed right here. Ooh. And then right here. That was a big thing that we did in junior high, even with friends in class. No, fuck no. This... Oh. <laughs> I see. You never had a crush like in junior high and then you would write to each other and then you get each other's address? Honestly, I didn't shave my legs, pluck my eyebrows, oh, I for sure yeah. was not wearing perfume. You didn't have this going on yet. Yeah, it was my pretty fucked up. It was like having the kiss with the lipstick on the letter and I would kiss that Are thinking you that I'm kissing her and shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Your life was a movie. Thank you. I thought everyone did that shit in junior. Did you stick the tongue on the paper too? Like, oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> and then I put it down here. <laughs> then it went through the paper. Wow! My boyfriend would write me notes, but it would smell like cigarettes. And I put the bone in boner news. Submitted <laughs> so by Holly from Wisconsin. A man discovered his penis has a bone. Is turning into bone. Whoa. Calcifying? Calcification. 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 Calcification, guys. Is this dick real hard? <laughs> Calcification. Penile ossification. <laughs> Slowly. Wow, his wife must be frustrated. She's like, fuck, is it hard yet? Fuck. He's like, it's always hard, Midge. <laughs> <laughs> Midge? How'd you guess that he was old? I don't know. It just sounds like some yeah, old people. Yeah, it problems. sounds like old people. Yeah. Shit. I imagine like the 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 calcium from the piss is building up on his dick or some shit. Huh. It said oh. ossifying though. Not I thought oh. calcifying. So what's ossifying? Tell us, tell us, tell us. Okay, okay, okay. You don't know what ossifying is? Everyone in this room. Knows. No, motherfuckers, why ass? Shit. Wow. Yeah, Tim, you stupid. You're not stupid. I'll tell you. Whoa. All right. So Good job. It went back on that table. I know. 
<laughs> That's like, dude, perfect. I want to try. Oh, I did it. Woo! You made it. I want to try too. <laughs> Give me one. My water is uncapped. See what oh. you did? <laughs> Bunch of ADD motherfuckers in here. I have a serious condition, Nikki. I can't believe you made fun of me. I can't believe you're making fun of me because of my condition. Watch this. I'll hit the metal sign behind me. I mean, that's the easy. Oh. Fuck. <laughs> and you were looking at it. I know, there. but I couldn't see the distance in there. Uh, Are you trolling? No. No. <laughs> when does he ever troll? Never. So, this man. He's 63 years old. Oh. Woman was stunned after her boss asked her to shave her legs. Oh, I thought she was stung by a bee. Oh, stunned. Right, so this story is in Eta. Am I the asshole? That subreddit? Oh. oh. Subreddit. I love that yeah. one. So this one is titled, Am I the asshole for not shaving my legs for work? So here we go. It says, so, I'm a 21-year-old female. I feel like I should say these things about myself because these are usually what people ask or say when they found out when they find out I rarely shave my legs. I'm straight, I'm very feminine, and I just don't like to waste my time or money on shaving my legs. Also, I'm not a hairy person at all. You can barely see my leg hair, arm hair, or even my goddamn I'll eyebrows. I'll be the judge of that as well. <laughs> that, that's that's not always true. Harry is relative. Um, okay, the only time I shave is when I'm dating a new guy in my life and I've been with my current boyfriend for three years now. Also, he doesn't give a rat's ass if I shave my legs. So Let's ask him. So, <laughs> so I work for a promotion company where I travel and work at events mm -hmm. and festivals. Mm -hmm. Uh, but today I had to go into the office to grab some materials and my boss was it was there in his office So I stopped to say hi before I left out when I ducked in he awkwardly asked me if we could talk about something I said oh sure and God. came in and he shut the door He was so red and stuttering, but finally he told me it's pretty needed, embarrassing We needed to speak about hygiene. I was in literal shock I was so embarrassed and asked him what he meant. My boss then proceeded to tell me that a few people complained I didn't shave my legs and they said it went against comp company policy that I wasn't being hygienic. I was even more shocked. I told him I didn't understand what to what that had to do with me shaving my legs and he was just absolutely quiet. I asked him if he shaved his legs and he still said nothing. I then stood up and said- Well, he's a man, he doesn't need to shave his legs. Keep going. <laughs> I then stood up and said, if we were gonna keep talking about this, I'd prefer HR to be there and he just told me that we didn't need to discuss it any further. Later today, I just got an email from <clears throat> HR saying that they would like to set up a meeting for next week to talk further about the discussion that happened today. I'm freaking out and it's making me so anxious. Am I the asshole for not shaving my- we're doing Jakey News, and the person sitting next to you smells super bad. That, you're gonna have a problem doing yeah. the videos and being productive and getting shit done. It's difficult when someone the stinks smells bad. and they smell so bad to the point where you vomit because one time you smelled them. That's, See, that would be bad. Yeah, that's really bad. Yeah, how do you address that? that how do you fix that? It is, a, it is an awkward com conversation to have because it's like, how do you even tell someone that they stink? If you don't know how to talk to your staff, then that means you have a really shitty relationship with them. Yeah, because yeah. because it, it should be something where I'm comfortable enough to like I'm so involved with my staff that I'm just gonna be like, hey, can we just go get some food or whatever, and then and let's it, talk about how you stank over some yeah. fucking sandwiches. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> but how do you bring it up, girl? Let's say you had a, say you had a oh. staff. He always had a crusty jizz stain on the side of his thigh. Yeah, I'm. I will bring you it could up. Bring it, you could I would bring it up. Yeah, because say? I care about them. Okay, I'm Alan. I always and you care about your business ultimately. <laughs> well, I, so I care about them as a person, and I know that people are talking shit behind his back. Okay, so I have say, a, hey, I'm what? Alan. I have. You just care about the bottom line, that's all you care about. Yeah, yeah, all, yeah, for sure. If you really cared about his feelings, you wouldn't even do anything. You would let him keep his jizz stain. <laughs> <laughs> if I, well, I have to find out if he's passionate about it. That's true. So or if, if it's religious. About it, like, what if he's, he's like, this is my art? I'm gonna call all my staff and I'm gonna be like, hey, you know what? We gotta stop this fucking shit talking that we're doing. He's very proud of that jizz stain. Yeah. All right? We gotta respect his jizz stain. It's a morning ritual. He comes in his hands and he plants it on his pants. <laughs> These are just hypotheticals. <laughs> <laughs> the toy maker Hasbro now owns the rap label Death Row Records as a part what? of four billion dollar acquisition. Oh, what do you mean? Wait, 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 who owns the Hasbro? The, Hasbro? the Hasbro? Hasbro? toy company the toy now owns Death, owns Death Row Records. That's so fucking weird. This is Hasbro's logo. Why? Pero like, and then this is Death Row. Oh, That's weird. Wait, did, they, did they acquire it? 
four four billion dollars, yeah, or did they, they buy a conglomerate that owned it? Yeah, sure. She's old now. Okay, so they bought a conglomerate that owned Death Records. Okay. That is the funniest shit. But they're like, well, might as well fuck with it. Let's go make some action figures of Tupac. Tupac. Right, but like you could totally, you can always turn it into something. Always. Yeah. I would like to see them turn Death Row into family. They can do cartoon yeah. parody um, there, characters. There's the, kids in the hood who listen to that who would love their action figures. Yeah. They like, could even have do like. Do kids still play with action figures? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think they have iPads, but kids in the hood can afford iPads. True, true, true. That welfare still is good, good. I don't know. <laughs> I know. Hit me I, up for marketing, though. I know because I always wanted to do a yard sale because I'm like, oh, these these the kids in my neighborhood are poor like me, so everyone uh, needs toys at a cheap. So I was like, oh, okay, I'm gonna just slang my toys, and nobody bought it because everyone was on welfare and they had money. <laughs> yeah. No, my family wasn't on welfare, but I was on welfare with like Isaac. you when you have oh. me and Isaac were on welfare for a little bit, um, and it was like the most struggling times of my life as like a single mother, like yeah. trying to like make a living and trying to go to school, make sure it, it was hard. But that's why I ended up having to resort to welfare. And I made sure I was living within my means. And I would go to the social security office uh, cause I had to meet with my caseworker. And I would see ladies in there with like fucking Gucci bags. I'm not on welfare. With nails like this. Bitch, damn, I'm not a <laughs> welfare. Makeup I, like this. I fucking pay yeah. for this shit, what the fuck? <laughs> I work fucking hard. Keep watching my she ass, does. bitch. What she does, she does. But I'm saying like, those women that would go in there and she it means was well, Stacey, she means well, she means well. It wasn't, it wasn't. She's all over here, I'm all hot. <laughs> no, bitch, they're gonna come She pulls a picture of you in the welfare building. I know. She like Listen. breaks it out. What is welfare, like a card? <laughs> She's like, here, give me your wallet, Stacey. People do some fucked up shit for money, but. Yeah. So. And that's why it's like people, you you know. You I work hard. She works hard. Bitch. But you don't I came hard. from Mexico and I work hard fucking hard. Just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. Dang. I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you. Bitch, I'm going to end up on Tiff the Rose videos. Let's find out. <laughs> Those shits came up on my recommended, and what? I was like, oh, they no. Tiff you have like a whole 20 minute video. What? Yeah. That's how fucked up James you are. Adolfo. Adolfo. Shout, Shout out. out. I don't know who Damn. he is, but now, fuck, now I'm gonna make it to one of your videos. I'm sorry. <laughs> You are a very good roast. Everyone, this, this this day today, she roasted every single guest. Uh, I did. Anthony too. Tip tell roast. That's I fucking did. dope. I was pokey. I like that. I don't know. I was cool with that. Tell tip tell roast. You know they call it that on my part. It comes from the heart. <laughs> Bitch, I don't know. Look like I'm on welfare. No, what the doesn't. fuck? She but you got the welfare look according to. <laughs> yeah. No, that's racist. No, no, no. No, that is. Ra I'm the Mexican here. What the? But fuck? you have the rich yeah, welfare look. <laughs> Like, I got eight kids or what? What the fuck does that mean? Ask Tiff, I don't know. You're like the queen of welfare. Not the, not the bottom queen. one. She was the peasant of welfare. How can I dig myself out of You can't, because you kept digging even harder. Because you're like, she just looks like it, but she's not. <laughs> okay, it's just like, she literally has a Gucci purse here, and it was just a good prop. Okay, you want me and to she help does you? really have the long nails. You want me to help you? Own it, Tiff. Own it. Own, own, it. It. own it. Own it. Just say you fucked up. Leave it at that. <laughs> you, you, want, you want the easiest way where I can help you? Okay. Say I'm sorry. She's just saying that someone that looks like you with all this money and nice things and whatever should not be on welfare. No, I agree. I agree. That's all it is. Yeah. And it's a compliment to you actually because they're trying to Because you don't look you like you're on welfare. By doing it by gaming the system. Okay, so put that yeah, in the yeah. Tiff the Rose video too. <laughs> Please make don't fucking just dig me down there. Because I wouldn't be spending yeah. all that money if I was on welfare. Hell no. No, like I would even buy money um like a purse or whatever. Like I would try to upgrade my fucking Three, life. Three, two, one. Action. Hey guys, welcome back to Off The Record where we talk about whatever we want. And today we have Anthony here with us. He is a dancer slash choreographer because those are two separate things. Just kidding, it's the same thing. No, he's also a member it's of not separate, the same thing. They're separate, a co-founder of The Kinjits. And uh, that's a dance crew that got what place? Second place? Fuck you, fuck. <laughs> Savage. That's savage one of ours again. That's one of ours. To be fair, it's first runner up. Yeah. I'm so proud of you too. First loser, whatever. But well, you know what? It's tied because we've never been on TV, so we're legit hating. Yeah. Oh. That's legit what's yeah. happening. No, you're just I've hating. Been on TV. Legit hate is way better than fake hate. It's like a waste of time. 
Sorry, Anthony, but welcome back. I didn't lose them. Oh, and sorry, I forgot to mention, and a long time one? JK News mm-hmm. friend. <laughs> Very long time. We've known we've known you since when? <clears throat> like 2012, 2011? No. 2011. Really? 2011. No. Tick Tick Tour, Australia. Oh. That's where we met? Wait. That was a dope tour. Damn. Oh, no. I met you when you were fat, but that you weren't fat then anymore. Eight years. <laughs> You oh, Fat Anthony? Yeah. I remember Fat Anthony. What? He was fat? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> this is long. We met him at a Kev Jamba shoot. At a music video shoot. Yeah, in a trailer. You were dancing in a oh. container, and I was like, whoa, that guy's fat. I didn't go there. What? That no. PH. It was, this yeah. is when people were using he was, PH. He was husky. He was like husky. Wow. Who's was the PH fat? He doesn't look like that anymore. At like, all, you should, yeah. how would you lose it, Anthony? You just yeah. danced it all off stress. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Anthony would kind of look like David, actually. Really? Like which version of David? Yeah, fat David? Uh, skinny or David. David. Like middle Skinny David. David's still kind of fat, right? <laughs> <laughs> so he looked like skinny David. <laughs> I like this conversation. Let's keep roasting David. Keep roasting David. <laughs> Oh, man. But I love you now, and you're so... The, I love you now because you're skinny. The so opposite. Of That's how it is. Yeah, I appreciate so it. Okay. Lose weight and you get more friends. That's true. Gio says she only, like, she only recognizes people that are like nines and tens. Yep. So. <laughs> when did I say that? It's true, but when did I say that? Uh, like on a video or like 50 videos. <laughs> yeah? yeah? Yeah, you were saying your fantasies are also to go into a uh, like a swingers club. Yeah, I don't want But it. only yeah. if they're super ten. fucking hot models. Yeah, no not. Oh, no nines. Sorry. No nines. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Give me just tens. On a scale of 20. <laughs> On a scale of 20. <laughs> I'll, take I'll take it. So you've been traveling a lot? How's I that have, going? I have. Uh, traveling is always good, but I'm actually home for a couple weeks, and then I leave for like three and a half months to China. I'm going to be stuck in China. For Why would you want to go to such a place? What part of China? <laughs> I think every time he brings that up, you say that. He owns multiple businesses out there. Why? He's killing He's it. He's a out mogul there. out there. He's yes. straight murdering it. He's a I super. I just want you to get in trouble by the Chinese government. That's why. Please. Hater, no. see? Just remember, though. What's your Later. position Later. on the China Hong Kong thing? Yes, oh tell God. us. <laughs> I'm just kidding. What do you think about the 2020 <laughs> election? Are. He's never coming He's back. back. I'm out. just kidding. He's I gonna know, walk I out. He Watch this video goes out and he's in fucking China and he gets arrested and assassinated because of us. No. no. Hey, Anthony. Anthony, I'll do it for you, okay? I'll do it for you. This is to me. I know. I'm sorry. So you're putting opinions in his. No, I'm doing it for <laughs> him, to me. He's, he's Fuck bar. Himself. Fuck he's bar. Himself. Oh, like this way. Yeah, he's putting himself. Oh, that's why this way. facing me. Fuck, Fuck bar. When you go like that, you fuck the world. Yeah. Uh, Fuck bar. I'm but sorry. Like, do like the two cancel out. Fine. Here. Thank you. <laughs>